Hello and welcome to At Your Service. My name is David Hawksworth. I'm your host and today I'm here with Brent uh, Curtis who's the E3 coordinator for the city. Brent, welcome. Thank you. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, uh, some major changes and we're sitting here in the at the uh, municipal solid waste landfill out on Burma Road and uh, there are some major changes coming up to the way uh, uh, loads are getting handled here. That is correct. Um, starting on January 1st, um, the fee structure for the landfill is changing a little bit. Um, you'll have your normal fees if your loads are secured. If your loads are unsecured, then uh, essentially you'll be paying a double fee. So if, um, currently the rates will be eleven fifty for a minimum load. If it's unsecured, it'll be $23. Um, standard fees are $46 per ton. If you're unsecured, $92 per ton. And that will both um, affect both residential and commercial uh, customers. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's pretty major. That's, <laughs> when you're paying double, especially at ninety-two dollars a ton, that's, mm -hmm. that's quite a jump. Um, what constitutes a secured load? Um, basically, the uh, scale house staff will inspect your load, whether it's in the back of a pickup, a trailer, and essentially the bare minimum is they want to make sure nothing can fly out. Um, the whole purpose of this is to uh, eliminate or reduce the amount of litter that's on the county roads on the way out to the landfill. Um, just driving out today, there was litter all over the place from people, you know, not having their load secure and mm -hmm. trash blows out. Mm -hmm. So um, it's an expensive endeavor to go out and clean those, both for the landfill and the county. So we're trying to encourage people uh, to start securing their loads better or in the first place. Yeah, not only is it expensive to clean up, but it's dangerous for people traveling on the roads. Oh, absolutely. Anytime you're driving behind a, a truck or something and something flies out and you lose vision for a moment or um, it's, say it's something that can pop a tire, you know, your, your potential risk for an accident increases exponentially. Right. So. Right, right. Okay. So this goes into effect January 1st of 2024? Correct. Um, so what can people do to better secure their loads when they bring it to the landfill? Um, yeah, so basically there's some a few cardinal rules. Um, if you're transporting both heavy and light items, put the heavy items on top of the light items. Um, heavy items, even if you think there's no way this is going to come out of the vehicle, still need to be strapped down. Um, let's say, for, God forbid, you had an accident. Now that debris that you, you had originally thought, well, that's plenty secure, is now airborne. So um, if you have light items, and just the normal uh, tie down straps, ropes, bungee cords, aren't gonna keep that in the vehicle, then that needs to be tarped. So basically just think about, if you drive down the road, is there any, what chance does this have of coming out of my vehicle or trailer? If it's a heavy item, tie it down with straps, ropes, that sort of thing. If it's a light item, tarps. Yeah, we were, uh, when we were outside, just coming into the building here, uh, we took a look at a truck that was had a trailer in the back and uh, a couple of straps holding the load down. And I said to you, is that a secured load or is that an unsecured load? And you, what was your answer? Um, I would say, for me, would say unsecured, simply because they had a series of boxes and they had tied down the ones that extended above the trailer. But if they didn't come above the trailer's sides, they weren't tarped down. Or not tarped, but uh, strapped down. You need to strap everything, whether you think it's it's above or beyond, because I think sometimes people get into the idea that if it's not above my uh, truck bed or trailer rails, that it's not going to come out. But that's not always the case. Right, right. So probably the best thing to do in that situation is just put a tarp over the whole thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. In that situation with all those boxes, put a tarp over it and then use those one or two straps. And then that's secure. Okay. Uh, ultimately, it's going to come down to the uh, landfill staff. They'll, they'll inspect your load and say, that's unsecure or that's secure, and they'll charge you accordingly. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that there'll be some friendly reminders the first couple of months or so. Oh, yeah. We've been doing a pretty uh, extensive ad campaign mm -hmm. um, since October. Mm -hmm. um, uh, regular customers of Landfill would have been handed flyers, notifications, signs. Um, we've been doing Facebook ads, radio ads, radio interviews. Mm -hmm. So we've the city has done as much as we possibly can to try and get the word out so people aren't caught off guard. Um, if this is the first time and you haven't 
seen any of this sort of advertising, then they will give you, a, from my understanding, a one-time, this is, we'll take it. A friendly reminder. Yeah, we'll take like it. That. Next time, you're going to get charged the higher price. Okay, yeah. I have seen it all over Facebook recently, so mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think that part has <laughs> been pretty effective. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and if you uh, want a, more information about any of this, you can follow your, your Facebook page. If you just do a search for a sign up E3 coordinator or that's probably the easiest way to find it. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, or go to the City of Salina's website. Um, I, I believe I have a link to my Facebook page on there as well on the sanitation department, so. Okay, sounds good. Um, all right, so January 1st is when this all goes into effect. Uh, goes, um, is, is the charge per ton changing from this year to next year? The yes, the normal, there is gonna be a, a typical uh, rate increase. Okay. Um, the tonnage uh, for 2023 is $44 per ton, okay. and it's gonna be $46 a okay. ton next right. year. So there will be the minimum normal increase in, in rates, just like everything else. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing we're trying to you know get out there and point is that if you're not secure, it's gonna be a big, dramatic increase. Right. Yeah, yeah. Secured, it's $46 a ton. Unsecured, $92 a ton. A ton. So yep. that's, that's a big difference. Yep, exactly. So, all right, well, that's good information to know, and hopefully people will uh, uh, pay attention to that and, and secure their loads and keep things safe out on the streets. So. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. And this is not a way for the city to make money. We want to encourage people to secure their loads. So, um, yeah, th that's why we're doing this. Now, if people want any more information about securing their loads or, or anything like that, how can they uh, get a hold of you? Um, my Facebook page is the best way. Okay. Um, you can also visit the uh, City of Salina's landfill website, which is salina-ks.gov um, backslash landfill. All the contact information as far as phone numbers, email address is on my Facebook page. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, hopefully uh, this has done some good and, and people will uh, start securing their loads here. Uh, you don't have to st start on January 1st. You can start now. If you We'd appreciate it if you started now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well Brent, thanks very much, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you next time on At Your Service.